What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today you're joining me from my car. Um, we're on our way to the track. That's right. We're going racing again. We're heading over to Daytona in Tamworth. Uh, it's a track I've only ever been to once, but it's quite a good one. So hopefully we'll make for some quite good footage. So I'm pretty excited for this for the obvious reason I've not been karting for ages. So this is the first time actually this year that we're going to get out on track. So probably going to be quite rusty. It's a new track for the channel and it's an outdoor track, which I said I want to do more of. And also they are doing the D-Max carts, which is what I'm going in today. So it'll be my first ever go in one of them. And they're pretty similar to what they run in Club 100 or that's what I've been told anyway. I'm sure someone in the comments can clarify that for me. And I will explain why that's important a bit later on. So with that excitement also comes nerves. Haven't been in a car this year, like I said, so I'm going to be pretty rusty. Got a few cobwebs to blow out, and I've not driven these D-Max carts before. This is going to be my very first time, so I don't really know what to expect from them. All I've read is the power delivery is quite different, so that might take a few laps to get used to. There's probably going to be quite a few spins involved. <laughs> that should make for some good viewing, and I'm not expecting to be posting any decent times. In fact, I'm expecting myself to be probably at the very bottom of the timing sheet once the session is over. Oh, if you could let me know down below what you think to this intro, because like I said in a previous video, I'm going to start doing some more face-to-face -face vlogging style stuff. So let me know if you enjoy it and you want to see more of my videos like this in the future. But that's enough of me waffling on. Let's get to the track, get signed in, get suited up and get out in that car. So next time you see me, we'll be heading out on track. Here we go then, voiceover time. So I'm not even going to lie to you, for the first few laps I was having fun but genuinely a little scared of this thing. Like my brain couldn't keep up with what was going on. Now I know to some of you these things are nothing but this is my first time in a car like this and I was just blown away by it. And the other thing is I'd consider myself a confident and competent driver in a Sodi car and the fact you can actually just turn up on the day and drive one of these things with no prior karting experience is frankly a little bit worrying because they're seriously hard work and if you've got no karting experience at all things could go very badly wrong very quickly so my only advice is if you're watching this and thinking you'd love to get in one of them I'd definitely say work up in the sodas and get the experience of how to handle a car and how to drive around a track because if you haven't got the experience I wouldn't even entertain the idea of jumping straight into one of these. You'll have to excuse the camera angle as I've got this mounted on my normal chin mount which on a Sodi is absolutely fine but these D-Maxes you sit a lot lower slash the steering wheel is higher so when I go back out on them again I'm going to have to figure out probably a better camera location to get a better angle but it's not too bad but I can definitely improve it for you guys on the next one. Now I thought with this being my first time in these carts I'll probably end up facing the wrong way quite a few times in this video but to my surprise I didn't actually spin once. However, 
there was a slight coming together with the tire wall. Luckily I came out of it fine as it was more of a glancing blow so I'm going to let you watch that now in all of its glory so you can have a good old laugh. And to be fair, I had a good laugh in my helmet but you can't hear that over the wind noise or the sound of these engines. What a donut. So in the intro I mentioned the Club 100 carts and the reason I bring them up is because I'm planning on entering the novice championship that they're running this year called the Club 100 Experience. I can't do all of the rounds, in fact I can't even do enough to complete the championship but I figure I'll get booked onto a few and just use it for experience. However, after this little session at Daytona, although my fastest time wasn't too bad, I had no consistency at all and to be honest with you, it showed me unless I can get a lot of sessions on these D-Maxes booked in before the first round, I am nowhere near ready to be entering that championship but you never know so watch this space. I don't know how many laps it was until these guys went past me but actually it really helped me out because up until then I was like Bambi on ice sliding around everywhere not having a clue what I was doing but once they were there in front of me I used them to show me the lines and I was managing to keep up with them which I was pretty impressed with I mean I was still sliding around here there and everywhere but it definitely helped me so if you are one of these two guys and are watching this thank you very much So here's my fastest lap, a 58 dead, which for a first time in these carts on a very cold day, I am very happy with. I won't be doing a hot laps video on this however, because I have absolutely no idea what was going on in my head. The braking points, turning in points, whatever, it was just sheer luck I ended up with this lap time. But give it a watch, 
let me know what you think if you know this track well let me know where i was going wrong and where i can improve but for those of you that don't i will give you a hint on where i was going wrong and that's everywhere the end of the session then I felt like I actually started to get an understanding of how these carts worked. They're a whole different beast compared to those sodies but I felt I made some good progress and I still have a lot to learn but I'll get there and I'm sure these things as well will become second nature to me. Wow just wow those carts are on another level it was like I was brand new to karting all over again. I didn't have a clue what I was doing for the first few laps. And if I'm being completely honest with you, the way they accelerate and grip and everything, I was actually a little bit scared to start with. But it was good fun. We, we did all right. I mean, I didn't spin, which is a bonus, although we had a little coming together with the barrier up, on, up at the very top of the lap on lap three or four. But yeah, I came... 10th out of 15 altogether, so I'm over the moon with that, 58 dead. So like I said, I was expecting to come stone dead last. And I can't wait to get out in them again, to be honest with you. Hopefully in the not too distant future when it's warmed up a bit, because my hands, from the vibrations and the cold, I couldn't feel my fingers afterwards. But it's gone to show me I need a lot of practice in these before I think about entering any Club 100 races, because it, it just blew my mind on what, what these things are capable of. But with that being said, it's time to end this video. So hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, please drop me a like, stick a comment down below, and also consider subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.